This video will go through how to do the USA question four. Question four is all about being able to explain the importance of something. It's eight marks, therefore it is eight minutes long. And you must provide a number of specific reasons to explain a given key issue. Now, as you know, in history, we always like the rule of three. So if you can provide three specific reasons, that is ideal. And effectively, the structure is one paragraph per explanation. Let's try one together. Explain why the USA became involved in the Second World War. We need to box our command word, which is explain why, and underline our key feature, which is the USA becoming involved in the Second World War. And we will glance at the hints, which is just the marks this time round. Now, what a lot of people miss out on is explaining why. So it's not good enough to say the USA became involved in World War I because of Pearl Harbor. You need to explain why that would lead specifically to war. There are three reasons in this case. I have gone for the National Origins Act of 1924, which restricts the number of the Japanese in the USA. And that leads to tension. And that's a reason why they got involved in the Second World War. You've got the Lend-Lease Agreement, which was to provide weapons to the Allies, despite the neutrality of the USA. And the reason that leads the USA to get involved in World War II is because they're openly helping enemies of Japan. And then finally, you've got the Pearl Harbor attack on the 7th of December 1941, which is an outright act of war. And that is probably the main reason why the USA becomes involved. World War II started in Europe on the 3rd of September 1939 when Hitler invaded Poland. America did not initially join until later on for various reasons below. America became involved in the Second World War because of the Japanese attack on Pearl Harbor, but there were other factors that led to this event. Relations between Japan and the USA were quite poor due to the 1924 National Origins Act which limited Japanese migration to America. As tensions rose, the USA and Japan had arguments over Japan's invasion of Manchuria. Furthermore, the USA was providing weapons to the enemies of Japan through the Lend-Lease Agreement, such as Britain and France who were at war with Germany, an ally with Japan. As war had been going on for two years, the USA's allies were pressuring Roosevelt to join the war and help out, despite their policy of isolationism. It was this foreign policy which forbid the USA from getting involved in conflict elsewhere in the world, despite the alliance with Britain and France being important to America. On December 7, 1941 Japan bombed the American naval base of Pearl Harbor. The Japanese did not want America to be a threat to the Japanese Navy and wanted to destroy their fleet. However, this caused America to join the war as it was a physical attack from Japan. With the pressure from the Allies, as well as the bad relations with Japan, President Roosevelt was forced to declare war on Japan, and in turn, war on Germany. On the next page, there will be three practice questions for you to have a go at. So try which ones you fancy. Then there will be a mark scheme for you to self-mark, and then uh, up will come the sample answers for you to add anything you need to. Youth culture changed a lot between 1945 and 1975, as this was a period of extreme social and political change in the USA. After World War II, life in the USA was prosperous and many Americans enjoyed their lives in suburbia, and young people had more money to spend on the things they wanted to buy. 
However, with tensions between the USA and USSR rising, and the start of the Cold War, many young people began to challenge the old-fashioned views of their parents. Young people wanted to seize the day because they knew that a nuclear attack was a possibility. This led to many young people rebelling against their parents as they were growing up in such uncertain times. Youth culture also changed for other reasons. Many young people were not happy with President Johnson and Nixon sending troops to Vietnam, and held student movement and anti-war protests with hippies who made love, not war to show their anger. Youths also rebelled by listening to Elvis and rock and roll music, and not jazz music like their parents. They also watched movies with James Dean, such as Rebel Without a Cause, or read books like The Catcher in the Rye which challenged the values of their parents. Youth culture changed greatly between 1945 and 1975, mainly due to the context of the Cold War and prosperous nature of the USA. These factors enabled young people to have more freedom in terms of spending money, as well as encouraging them to live each day to the fullest for fear of a nuclear attack. The USA became involved in the Vietnam War for a variety of reasons, which included containment, the domino theory, weakness of South Vietnam and retaliation. The late 1960s were at the peak of the Cold War and tensions between capitalist and communist countries were at their highest. Kennedy had just managed to avoid nuclear war in the Cuban Missile Crisis, and the USA was following their policy of containment to stop the spread of communism, wherever it may appear. The main reason was the policy of containment and the idea of the domino theory. Both of these were caused by a fear of communism spreading, and as a capitalist country the USA did not want communism to spread. The domino theory said that if one country becomes communist, others will soon follow. If Vietnam became communist, soon Laos, Cambodia, and India would follow, eventually leading to the entire world being communist. Another reason was the weakness of South Vietnam. The communist North was stronger than the South, and the USA knew the South could not fight back on their own. This prompted the USA to send soldiers into Vietnam to help protect the Democratic South from the Ho Chi Minh and his Viet Cong soldiers. The last major reason the USA joined the war in Vietnam was the attack at the Gulf of Tonkin. A US ship was bombed while stationed off the coast of Vietnam in the Gulf of Tonkin. President Johnson did not want to go to war based on his policy of containment, as he feared it would make the USA look aggressive. However, with the Viet Cong striking first, he now had a legitimate reason to declare war. Detente was the policy of cooling down tension between the USA and the USSR. It involved many successful and unsuccessful attempts to improve relations between the countries after increased threats due to the Cold War after 1945. One reason detente was necessary was because of the improving relationship between the USA and China. For the USSR, this was a threat as a US-China alliance could risk them teaming up to prevent the USSR from doing certain things. Additionally, it meant Brezhnev would have wanted to get an alliance first to get more food and technology supplies, potentially before China could. Another reason detente was necessary was because of the threat of nuclear war. The countries had come close to nuclear war before most notably the Cuban Missile Crisis in 1962. Détente was therefore essential if both countries were to reduce the number of nuclear weapons in their possession to prevent nuclear war. However, there were some disagreements as to what this actually looked like in reality as both sides wanted different things. Nevertheless reducing the amount of weapons, and being seen to be the one to lead the way, was an important factor in wanting détente. The biggest reason, however, why détente was necessary was the cost. Defense spending the USA and USSR had soared. Not only that but costly wars in Vietnam and Korea had further dented the budget of the USA. These wars and constant spending on unnecessary deterrents like Star Wars also made the pro-nuclear stance unpopular especially with young people. So détente was necessary to reduce spending and improve the government image in America especially 